Hello human, thank you for being on the channel. If you wish to join the Terrence family, punch the shit out of the subscribe button right now. Why did Frieza fail to defeat Goku? The answer is simple, ladies and gentlemen. This motherfucker was arrogant. He thought he had it in the bag. Lord Frieza. This guy went around the universe scaring and killing various species. Nobody could step to him. Anyone that tried, they got wrecked. They were done. I remember when he destroyed planet Vegeta. Killed off like 99.9% .9 of the Sands. He's like, I am tired of these monkeys. I gotta make sure that these motherfuckers don't grow a spine one day. Just killed them all. For the most part. With a couple of stragglers. But uh, he damn near wiped out the whole race. And the ones that survived, they were working for Frieza, with the exception of Goku, of course, and Broly. But my thing is, Frieza is easily one of the best villains in all of the Dragon Ball universe. Top five, in my opinion. He had everything he needed to defeat Goku. As soon as Goku showed up, the character that needs help. From all of his friends to gain victory most of the time. He could have beat that motherfucker Goku. He had many times where he could have won the fight. But he didn't because he was playing around. He didn't respect Goku. He's like this is a fucking saying right here. I ain't got to show him no respect. He going to be like the rest of his people. And he's going to get a shit wrecked. So even though Frieza went through all of his different transformations. Being in his final form, his, his true form, so to speak. He still didn't finish Goku. Goku doing the spirit bomb. Letting Goku turn into a Super Saiyan after he killed his ball-headed friend Krillin. This shit don't make no sense. So Frieza, he got wrecked by Goku because he took too long to kill that motherfucker. Because he underestimated that motherfucker. He was arrogant. He figured, hey, I'm Frieza. I ain't got shit to worry about. I'm a martial artist. I used to do martial arts many years ago. And I was taught under no circumstances do you underestimate your opponent. You gotta be a dumbass motherfucker to do some shit like that. I don't care who you going up against. You never know who you're dealing with. Even if you think you do. Do not underestimate your opponent. Because he did all that to Goku, that led to Frieza's downfall. And that motherfucker got wrecked. So why did Frieza fail to defeat Goku? Because he was stupid. Thank you for being here, human. I want you to like this video. Share it with your family, your friends, whatever humans you may know. Punch the shit out of the subscribe button to join the Terrence family. You know, you gotta, you really gotta be silly to be in a position where you have the victory. At any second, you can decide to kill your opponent and you allow that motherfucker to get stronger and stronger and get all this help from all his friends. If Frieza would have just killed this motherfucker, he wouldn't have to worry about no Super Saiyan. Come on, Frieza, you dumb. Terrence out.